What's up guys, Shad Juice here. It's time for another What's Sold on eBay video. It's been a few weeks. I got 50 things I'm going to show you here. I'm going to try to get through them quick, give you some information about the stuff. Um, I'm trying to get caught back up in real time. I'm getting closer, pretty close. Now I skipped over a lot of like stuff that you guys already know, just Mario games and calculators and stuff like that. Most of you guys know about that stuff already. So I'm going to try to show a little bit of different stuff and maybe some video games that are like worth money that maybe you wouldn't know is worth money. And hopefully some stuff that can help you guys. And uh, when you're out looking at yard sales and thrift stores, see if you can find this stuff and maybe make some money. So here we go. This is a vintage Big Bubba tennis racket. I got this at a church sale for a dollar. It took a little bit to sell, but I got $19.98 plus shipping on it. If you didn't know, uh, I'll always look out for uh, like drill chargers and any kind of chargers really, but these are really quick sale. I had two of them. The same guy bought them both um, for $14.12 plus shipping. So see it says two sold there, so we sold both of them. I got that at Goodwill, I think, for like two bucks a piece. So like 428 is pretty good. Got a Michael Jackson bad cassette tape. Went for $7.96 free shipping. Cassette tape sell. Some of them more than uh more money than others, but ten dollar almost ten dollars for cassette tape is pretty good. Usually get them for dirt cheap. All right, this is from that guy's uh, yard sale that had his garage filled with motorcycle stuff. You've seen Cincinnati Picker. He found some stuff there, and he ended up going back and getting that uh, really rare uh, Michelangelo turtle bike that I passed up. <laughs> so, But this is a sale on that. This is Greg Alberton, uh, Road Champs BMX bike. Got $34.95 plus shipping on that. I paid... Uh, I'm in like 120 bucks, I think, on the bikes and two turtle bikes. So this is a Legends of Radio Jack Benny collection CD. I got this uh, last year for like a quarter. It took a little bit to sell. I I didn't list it for a long time too, so it wasn't maybe up a couple months. Got 22.45 free shipping. Here's some uh, stuff from the Avon lot I bought. I paid $25 for like over 100 pieces of Avon. And I've well made my money back. I'm not going to show every sale, but I'll show a couple of the little higher ones. This was $24.96 for some uh, bronzing power powder. Here's the Georgetown Hoyas hat. I got this flea market for about a dollar. I had four of them. As you can see, they all sold. And they sold this one sold for sixteen ninety six. They either they sold in between that and uh, twenty bucks a piece. I really wish I had more of those. Here's a Polder digital in oven thermometer. I got this at a yard sale for a buck. Sold it for twelve fifty one plus shipping. It was sealed. Uh, did have like a crack right here on the plastic. No big deal. Sold pretty quick. It's grilling season. Um, here's a Playboy magazine from 1955. Uh, I got this at a state sale. I probably got like a quarter into it. If you find some from like the 50s or 60s, like they sell pretty good. This I got $26.70 for it plus shipping. That's about as risque as the centerfold's got right there And 55. That was the first Playboy I've ever sold. All right, this uh, this is really cool. I actually have one of these, but I found this at a yard sale, brand new, with the tag there. It's like a Bengals like giant sneaker tote bag. I paid five bucks for this. It didn't take too long to sell. I got twenty six ninety five for it. It's just really cool, old vintage, and just I, I thought it was cool. I still have mine. But I didn't need a new one. Here's a couple bad buys right here. I got in lots of uh, Super Nintendos. Pretty, that one was pretty yellowed. They both got the uh, broken uh, port back there that the AC adapter goes in. 
So I sold them as is for parts. Got 36 bucks for both of them plus shipping. Got this Tim Minchin live at the Royal Albert Hall Blu-ray at Goodwill for two bucks. It was sealed. It's like a UK version, but it plays in the you know North American. And I got 17.96 plus shipping for it. Here's the game to look out for. You wouldn't think this was worth money. I sure in the hell didn't. It's Tetris DS complete on the Nintendo DS. Got $31.45 for that. That's something that you would look at that's probably a couple dollar game, but actually it sells for good money, so that's one to be on the lookout for. This was a good sale here. It's a Phyllis of Executive Memo uh, Pocket Recorder. I got this at the flea market with the pack of tapes for like two bucks. Sold it for $49.95 plus shipping. That was an awesome sale right there. It took a little bit. It went through the first 30 days and I relisted it and it sold like not too long after that. So great sale there. All right, these Lord of the Ring uh, Reader's Companion 60th Anniversary Edition, okay? I got this at a, a rummage, church rummage sale for 10 bucks. It's brand new sealed. And uh, it sold within a day. There wasn't none other. For, I think there was one other one for sale, but it was really high. And uh, it sold for one nineteen ninety five. The buyer got it, and apparently this is the 50th uh, the fiftieth anniversary, so the sixtieth anniversary is a newer one, and like, I didn't know any better. And uh, if you can see down there at the bottom that logo, and maybe like part of the wording was in a different color, like they looked exactly the same. I didn't know even know there was a fiftieth and a sixtieth. So the buyer was kind of a little bummed out about it, but they were still happy with the books. So I gave them some money back. I think it was maybe. 20 30 bucks so i still made decent money on it and just a learning experience and you know it was really hard to tell there wasn't much info on it so glad the buyer was still happy with the books that's all that matters or i would just had them send them back and i would have known all right this is a bad buy i've uh, collected hot wheels over the years i thought there was a hundred uh 60 treasure hunts for I bought for a hundred bucks. I don't think I sold any of them separate. This was all I had. I just tried separating them in different lots. I just couldn't get nobody to buy them. A lot of these are the 2011 ones or 2012 and nobody really wanted them. So I ended up putting it at auction and it went really low. <laughs> I got $89.980 so I lost money on that lot. So It's a bummer but at least they're gone. Lost about 15 bucks. It happens. Actually, it don't happen to me too often, but... There's another Avon thing. This is a Aid Transforming Foundation, 1895 free shipping. This is a lot of Kung Fu, uh, mostly Wu-Tang VHS tapes. Got these at a yard sale for 10 bucks. They ended up selling for thirty nine sixty seven. I also got a few other things in that lot for ten bucks, so that was a good flip there. There's Fantasy Star Universe on the PC. This is brand new. This was in that big twenty dollar uh, media lot I got. So for nineteen ninety five plus shipping. Your Super Smash Brothers on the GameCube. You find this. This is just like a fifty dollar bill every time. I think this one was kind of scratched up. That's why I listed it a little lower, but it worked. Got forty-seven ninety-six plus shipping. All right, uh, Nintendo sixty-four consoles sell good. Uh, as you can see, the games that came with it—they're fun games, but they're not like expensive games at all. Like none of these games are ever five bucks. Maybe Battle Tanks, maybe a little bit, but as you can see, like Cruising USA had marker on it, so. I usually just bundle some, you know, lower games with these systems, and I got seventy-two ninety-five for it. That's pretty good. I don't remember how much I had in it, but I'm sure I don't even have anywhere close on the uh, seventy-two bucks. 
There's a couple Eddie Murphy VHS tapes. I had these in my collection. I got them on DVD. I didn't need them anymore, so I just got rid of them. Got $7.15 plus shipping. Here's some uh, ma more manga books for $24.99. Tale of the Moon Manga. Glad to see some more of them go. I still have a few. It depends on what series you get. If you get like a really good series, they sell quick, and the ones I've had have been sitting. But I've made my money. So This was a cool buy. These were brand new old uh, Sony uh, headphones. They paid three bucks at the thrift store for these. Sold them for $28.86. Anything older, Sony, sealed, sells. You guys know that. This is a Microsoft Flight Simulator X with the three discs. I got this for a couple bucks at the flea market. The um, the case was missing the plastic that went all the way around the case over the uh, cover art. So you can see it right there in the corner. It's just got a little piece left. Which was weird. It was, I don't know why it was missing that. And it was stuck to it pretty good still. But uh. Didn't have the manuals or anything. Still got $29.71 for it. Always look out for Microsoft Flight Simulators, man. They make, make some mo good money, especially the gold edition. There's a Fisher Price Little People Christmas Story Nativity set. I got this for a dollar at the uh, yard sale. I didn't even look in it, but uh, if I'm further, further inspection. The angel was missing a wing there, like a kid chewed it off. I think it was missing a sheep. So, uh, still got $14 for it. So, I made some money on it. And it, like, lit up and uh, played music, which was cool. Got this at a uh, estate sale for, like, a dollar. This is a flip clock. There's some where you can make big money on it. This was the first one I've gotten. And I got fifteen seventy plus shipping. Not bad for a dollar investment, but there's some that they're worth big money. Just not that one. Some more Avon uh, color corrector cream. Sold uh, three bottles of that for twenty three ninety six. As you can see, I had two sets of that, so as I miss a fifty dollar sales between the two of them. All right, this catcher's mitt. I got this at maybe for a dollar or so at the flea market i couldn't find no comps on it at all no solds none listed uh, i know catcher mats do pretty good so i listed a kind of high i wish i had kind of made it higher i think i could have maybe got about 100 bucks for it but uh i mean it wasn't in perfect shape but not too bad i ended up getting 63 dollars and 74 cents paid a dollar so i was happy with that all right, this is another thing. I got a church Roman sale. I thought I was going to get three or $400 for this. But uh, it sold for two forty nine ninety five. Before it even sold, the guy sent me a message and asked me if the autofocus worked, right? Which I checked it and it did. He gets it and he tells me it doesn't work. So I didn't want to deal with selling this. The reason I sold it for lower is because it had this tape on it. And when I finally pulled the tape back... That was cracked up here, which you couldn't tell. It was like tight. So that was kind of a bummer when I found that out. Somebody asked me why the tape was on there, if it came off. And I was like, I didn't really want to mess with it, but I ended up taking it off. And I'm glad I did because I found the crack. So when the guy got it, he told me the autofocus didn't work. I didn't really want to mess with this anymore. So I asked him if there was, you know, I could take off some money if he'd be happy. Give him a little bit of a refund. Pretty sure I refunded him like 50 bucks. And he was happy with that. So I don't know if he was just trying to play me or what, but it seemed like it. But I paid $40 for it, so I still made like $150 on it. So still a good sale. I'm not an expert on camera equipment, so still learning that. We got a Halloween 4 sealed vhs tape i got this for 50 cents at a yard sale and i got 27.97 for it there's money in vhs tapes man you just gotta get lucky especially some like a sealed horror thing like that 
always pick stuff up like that. I got this for, uh, I think I paid a couple bucks for it at the yard sale. It was a laser sight for a, a pistol or a rifle. You can see on the back right here, the batteries exploded, so I put that in the listing. So, like, you know, the batteries ain't going to work. You're going to need batteries. And I got $23.16 for it plus shipping. Still a pretty good sale. Got a couple dollars under that. Here's another beer tap I got. I think I got a few dollars into this. I thought I was going to get more for it, but I was sat for a while, and I finally got it on a sold it on a 20% off sale for $15.81. This was a great sale. I got this at the flea market for a dollar. It was a brand new sealed game of life from 1985. See it's still sealed there. Got $47.96 for that. Pretty damn awesome. All right, we got a wireless presentation tool. I got this at a yard sale for I think five bucks. And, yeah, it was the same sale. I got that Bengals uh, tote shoe th bag thing. And I got $27.74 plus shipping. I got still got a big tub of these Transformers and Beast Wars. I still haven't went through them, man. There's so many parts in there. Stuff fell apart. So many weapons. I picked a couple things out I could find real quick. And I sold this little gun. For uh, twelve dollars ninety five cents, free shipping. When I find a time, I'm gonna. I know there's some money in that bin. All right, here's uh one of the micro machines from that guy that acted really weird and tried to cancel the sale because I was trying to negotiate with him. He was this really weird sale. Anyways, I paid forty eight dollars for twelve micro machines, new in package. This one sold for $24.95. As you can see, there was eight of this exact one, and I sold all eight of them. So that's a couple hundred dollars right there. And I still had a few more left. I think right now I still got two left. All right, this uh, was in a huge video game lot I bought last, last year. for I spent over $1,000 on these games. Uh... This was something I was keeping, and then I was going through. I didn't get, I didn't look at every box when I bought them, just like the more expensive games. So when I went back through, I found a Star Wars game and this one, and they were still sealed. I didn't have no clue they were sealed. And I really don't collect sealed stuff because people are going to pay a high premium for a piece of plastic around that box, and I'm going to sell it. So got sixty-six dollars and forty-five cents for that awesome sale and i think the star wars one it was probably in the last video i got like 120 dollars for that this was cool i got this in a lot of hats on facebook for 20 20 bucks um i really liked it but i don't like white hats it's a vintage unc rebels hat but it's in graffiti on it these hats are hard to find like this uh i had a miami hurricanes hat growing up when i was a kid it said Kane. It was a green hat, and it said Canes. And I've been trying to find one so I can buy it to have for myself, and I cannot find that exact hat anywhere. I've tried every every site you can think of, Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, Mercari. I cannot find it. But uh, Anyways, I sold this one. It did have a little stain on it right there. Got $47.46 for this hat. Awesome sale right there. All right, here's a laser disc from that big lot of laser discs I bought for, I think I paid a hundred dollars for 133 laser discs. I picked out a few that was worth money. I still got them all in boxes downstairs. There's just so many, and I picked out a few of the higher value ones. So this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I got seventeen dollars and five cents plus shipping. Got a. Uh, Nintendo 3DS. This is one I got off a of Facebook deal. Got this one and the NES 3DS, and both of them did not work. 
and uh, ended up coming from seemed like a dope fiend guy that probably took him to a pawn shop and they didn't take him so sold him to me for 50 bucks I sold the other one for 50 and this one for 30 so I got some money back plus a few other things I got from him but There's a game and I gotten a lot. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 on Super Nintendo. This one sells pretty good. Got $36.95 for that. We got uh, Micro Machines. Uh, this is the same one. Another one for $24.95. This is a good bolo here. I've sold this two or three times. Uh, this was at a yard sale. That was a cup. This was like on the second or third day of the yard sale. It's still sitting there. It's a drill doctor. It sharpens your uh, drill bits. No, I got thirty-seven seventy-seven for it. I paid a couple bucks for it. So if you ever see them drill doctors on there, they sell good and pretty quick. There's a Mac Tools hat. Still had the tag on it. I got this at a flea market for like a buck. Sold it for fourteen dollars and twenty cents. Here's four Maxell uh, VHS tapes, blank ones sealed. Don't have much of these at all. Got $18.95 free shipping for four of them. There's another laser disc. It was Pumping Iron 2 to a woman laser disc edition. Got $14.95 plus $3.99 ship. This is a good PlayStation 1 game to look for is a Mortal Kombat trilogy. There's a lot of Mortal Kombat games out there, but this is one of the pricier ones. Got a thirty-two ninety-five. No, pretty good deal on that. There's also a Mortal Kombat three. I think if you get it in a short case, that's worth a lot of money. So if you ever find that one, coming up on the last two sales, guys. I've never seen these before. These were from nineteen eighty-five. Uh, they're called Nerfles. I got these in a little shoe box at a yard sale for a dollar. I just I knew I knew they had to be worth something because they were eighty toys. But they're like these little balls, and they got like a body you can put on them, a hair, and then uh, vehicles you can put them in and stuff. So I listed it for seventy four ninety five, and I think the next day I got an offer for fifty, and I took it. Uh, I might have been able to get the full 75 if I held on on it, but I was like, I paid a dollar for them, man. Somebody wants them for 50, they can have them. So, pretty good sale there. This last sale here. This was an awesome sale. It was a uh, Spalding 202 wooden baseball bat. This is like an early 1900s bat. It was really cool. I paid $7 for this. At a yard sale, could not find comps on this bat at all. I contacted uh, John Cincinnati Pickers see if he could help out. He couldn't find no comps on it either. But uh, had it listed for like, I had it listed for like three hundred or so. And then I listed it to two fifty. And um, I might have start. I started off at two fifty, and uh. Same day or the next day, I had a guy offer me 100 for it. And I looked at his account, and he sold baseball bats. So I was like, well, yeah, he knows this is worth some money. So, uh, you know, he tried to con me into selling it cheaper. I said, man, I, uh, I'm really going to hold out for higher money. I see that you sell baseball bats, so you know it's worth more than 100 bucks if you're willing to pay 100 bucks for it. He went up to 125 then he went to 150 And then uh, I told him I wasn't going to take less than 200 and he paid the 200 so that was a great sale right there and even had like a chip in the wood up here but uh really cool bat it was it'd been nice to find comps on one that sold but it's just like that sometimes i've had a lot of issues with that with baseball stuff that i found uh found a few rare things this summer so that's going to end it for uh this episode of what's sold on ebay i hope i could help you guys out and if uh found some things you didn't know about if you could uh i got some uh episodes you can watch i'm gonna put in the description of these videos so i appreciate you guys watching make sure you hit that like button if you like these videos want me to keep doing them peace out
face.